Welcome to Norfolk Perspective City Slice. I'm Bob Batcher, and I gotta tell you, I'm totally confused. But we're gonna figure this one out. Andrea Warren, Executive Director of Governor School. How yes, you doing? I'm great. Okay, we're taking roll here. Okay. Okay, Todd Rosenlieb. That's right. That's you? That's here. Me. I'm here. You're, are you present though? I am well, yes. Okay, Joanna Whitaker. Wicker, yes. Wicker. Like a, like a wicker basket. Okay. Now, be, when you're not here, you are a student at, at Governor's the Governor's School, School for the Arts, yes. And in the morning, you go where? Bayside High School. All right. You, and uh, Joni Petrie Scholl. That's correct. Hi. How are you? And you are? I work in the dance department at the Governor's School for the Arts. But in reality, you keep him in check, right? <laughs> we do it for each other, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, before we forget, we're on here to talk about a gala you got coming That's up. That's right. 25th anniversary. We're celebrating 25 years in the city of Norfolk. Holy moly. Educating wonderful students from eight different school districts across the region. That is 25. awesome. That's, that is awesome. And it, we're going to talk. Now, when's the gala? Because we've got to get that stuff out That's early right. because we're going to forget if we don't. It's April 13th at Chrysler Hall. It's going to be an amazing event called Zo. So it's Zolicious. Zo it's so funny. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this yeah. is where we're It's amazing. Yeah. Is there going to be singing? It'll be singing, dancing, videos, 3D projections, improvisation. In other words, there's stuff fun. that you may not know it's going to happen. That's right. It's going to come at you from all angles. Okay, are there going to, here we go, are there going to be big white balls that don't necessarily come down? One never knows. <laughs> What Truly you never know. <laughs> Todd, what do you have in your head? Come on. I have no large balloons or anything odd in it, but there is, it's going to be quite a visual spectacle. The concept, although uh, the storyboard put together by Natasha Sacco, an international performance artist who is in Miami, um, all of the ideas were generated by a series of kids from each department, student artists, who came together for a creative team, and they brought the concept of the hero's journey and likened it to the artist's journey. And that was sort of the basis, the springboard, for this incredible nonstop hour and ten minutes of uh, 178 performers, I think, will pass through Hello. the stage. Hello! Yes. <laughs> it's incredible. And you want the public to come? Definitely. <laughs> now, they can't just show up. they got to buy a ticket, right? That is Indeed. absolutely true. And how do they go about buying these tickets? Ticketmaster. On sale. You? Real simple. It's simple. Okay, now we can sit back. Because I discovered in getting ready, now I know why performers have to have scripts. Uh, it's right? very important. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you from personal experience. <laughs> what is, okay, tell me what it's like in the afternoon on Granby Street. Wonderful. It's, you, you kind of get a little bit of everything. If you're, you're already going to school there and you leave and you walk out and you're just automatically in this little city. Granby Street encompasses everything. There's wonderful restaurants to go to. There's cafes, and then Todd. And then there's Todd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just out there with my cup. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, that's not a Norfolk accent. You're not from no. here originally. No. How did you find Norfolk? I found Norfolk through the Governor's School for the Arts. I was getting my master's at NYU, an undergraduate. Not to be misunderstood. I mean, that's, right, that right. stands for New, New York, York University. Yeah. Okay, and oh, the big um, city. Uh, yeah, cool. And uh, a student from the governor's school was a freshman undergrad. Um, introduced me to the, the then chair Deborah Thorpe, who's now assistant director of the school. She invited me down. So that's what Deborah that's, does. Yeah, I, she's the assistant director of the I school. I was kind of wonder what she did because she's always kind of hanging around with synchronized dancers. I know it's insane. <laughs> she yes. tells us what to do. She's yeah. That's cool. really what she does. Yes. Yes. And cool. She keeps up the Facebook page quite yes. successfully. Yes. That's what she does. Yeah. She's okay. amazing. So she. You knew her. I've met her. I worked for her for one year. We hit it off. I came down twice the next year. One thing led to another. I was working with the opera, with the arts festival, you name it. I was getting work. And I thought after 11 years in New York, time to change it. I was getting old and the, you know, a little long in the tooth for a dancer. So you have to start thinking about your next <laughs> part of your life. It was and, Achilles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, you know, if I wanted to be Mark Morris or Twyla Tharp, that was already taken in New York. Yeah. So I thought I'd just come to a city that completely supported the arts, was training young artists. I could be a part of that heritage as well as part of the arts community. So what was Granby, at, Granby Street in the afternoon like back then? Scary. <laughs> yeah, in 94, you, I, it was... It was not yeah, the I place you would go after dark. Yeah, I mean, I, I was going to say, we had season tickets to the Virginia Stage Company their first year in 1980 for a Tuesday night. Uh, did you ever see the movie Omega Man? Yes. Yeah. 
It was like out. that. Did you ever think? <laughs> No. We, we'd look like that now. No, I never thought I'd have a dance center on Granby Street where 300 children come in and out of my building in a week. And uh, it's amazing. The downtown Norfolk area has just blossomed. And yeah. the Governor's School is all going to be there next year in the Monroe Building. Ah. So that's even better. We're adding 300 more children to downtown. <laughs> and all in one location. That is right. right. Okay, so who wants to talk about how fun that's been? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the project in itself has been amazing. Yeah, have you renovated a kitchen or anything like no, a bathroom I, at your no. home or anything like that? Mm -mm. So how many no. square feet is this? We we will have forty two thousand square feet that we were totally occupying, but we're talking about a hundred year old building that's yeah. full of some amazing Can we say running water. Running water. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> uh, and it's gonna be a state of the art building for our students. We're gonna be able to um, video in any area if, if, I, if Joanna needs to do an audition we can videotape her from one room to another room in that building we will have our oh, black cool. box it's going to be it's going to be really amazing that is so cool but you're kind of finding some fun things on the way on this journey oh, of yeah. renovation right oh there the elevators that have been there for a hundred years <laughs> that they're going to clean up skylights uh the set the sixth and fifth floor has not been occupied in years so they have demoed that area it's beautiful it's going to be amazing okay when we talk governor school mm -hmm. who what governor i mean how does all that work um well you know there are 19 governor schools throughout the state okay and so that means that it's supported by the school districts that serve that governor school as well as the state. So we have eight school districts that we serve, and that's from Vin Virginia Beach to Franklin, Southampton, Suffolk, Alawai, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, Norfolk, and Virginia Beach. And you did that real good. I, you did. I, I was <laughs> very proud of myself. Yeah. 355 students auditioned, have been accepted, and they go to six different departments. Okay, now Joni, they converge on you then in the afternoon? Mm, uh, especially now with the putting together of our amazing gala. We are actually, for the first time, good. working, <laughs> working right uh, at, in a very collaborative way, all the different departments. And I think that is the first time that we've really worked in such a collaborative way with the theater department and the music theater and the visual arts. All um, the students Instrumental come music, and, and we have had a lot of fun in our building. Yes. The last week or so. <laughs> okay. So, Joanna, you are a... Theater. You, you're in theater. Yes, I'm in the theater department. I'm a fourth year senior. Now, ooh, so that means next year? I get to graduate. And, and where? Oh, I will be attending the Shenandoah Conservatory. Really? <laughs> I just oh, was that recently is so accepted. cool. I'm going there for theater, so I'm, I'm extremely excited, obviously. <laughs> no, you should be. That is so awesome. And the yeah. governor's school really kind of played a part in it, right? The governor's school was extremely instrumental. It was pivotal to my journey through high school, especially trying to figure out what my career was going to be. Without governor's school, I would not be the person that I am or have the aspirations that I do now. Okay, describe your day to me then. What's a Monday through Friday like? Monday through Friday, uh, you wake up, you go to your regular school, and around 1220, since I'm a first shift student, you leave, you either hop on the bus or you get in your car when you're older, and you come to downtown Norfolk and you get in your department, you sign in, you start your classes, and you spend the next three hours completely immersed in your art. And you learn about your craft, you learn all the different techniques about your craft, and it really brings you this sense of just energy and getting to know something that's way out of the ordinary but so important to everyday life. It's, it's art and it's... It's I know. wonderful. <laughs> Why are you guys here? I know. Yeah, you just need Joanna. Just Joanna. Just come on. Because, yeah. okay, it's April 13th is the big gala. That's right. And it's going to be huge. Huge. It's huge. Zoom. Alum will be here. Yeah. We have an alum affair on the 12th on Friday. Yes. And that will be like reunion for all of our alums. We've been around for 25 years. Yeah. So Now, because my sofa is only that big, yeah. there's a fourth person who's That's dying. Right. To come on the show. That's right. Yes. We're dying for yes, him. Yes, we are too. Yeah, because he's going to bring it alive for us. <laughs> That's right. Austin so Henderson. I have to tell you about this kid. Yeah. He was our Jekyll and Hyde in Jekyll and Hyde, of course. <laughs> he was he's, no, he's an incredible performer. But what's so amazing? He's from Oscar Smith, a Chesapeake student. But I sat in front of his mom during the performance of Jekyll and Hyde opening night, and she had never seen him perform before until that night. So she looked at me and said, That's not my kid. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. 
She was so surprised. Well, I and tell we you what. and he came from Texas just to come to governor school. Cool. Well, I tell you what. Let's quit talking about yeah. it and hear him sing. All right. Let's okay. do that. And thanks for joining us. What is it about her that makes me want her? What is it about her that turns me pale? Something in her smile, something that I'll never understand. A wild abandon, what is it about her? That parts the waters. What is it about her that hoists the sail? Something in her hair, instructing where to touch. Why do I need her so much? This woman makes me cry. This woman makes me burn. This woman's eyes can cut me to the core. The hatred that I see has been reserved for me, and I want more and more and more. And what is it about her that pulls me closer? What is it about her that tips the scale? This girl is all I have. So soft, so fair, so fine And she's forever mine This woman builds me up This woman tears me down This woman speaks and I can't break apart Now comes another man Pretending he can win her heart We'll let him start Light. Should I hold my own or be alone tonight? What is it about her that jumbles feelings inside? What is it about her that mixes passion with pride? Could I live without her and let her go?